our next stop is gonna be Delhi. The airplane is slowly emptying. Let's go out and see. I just got through immigration and it took me like two hours like the line was humongous but now I'm in here let's see how I can get to my accommodation for me right now it's like a 40 50 hour days with like a few naps in between so yeah that's how I feel Okay, so I am going the local route right now. I looked up on Google, but public transport by bus into the city to my hostel. The station is back there. So I got off the subway at the place that I'm gonna be staying at and like so far the ride costed me almost nothing and I'm actually surprised of how smooth everything is going and how effective everything works. I'm gonna talk about that. Go I'm, just, I'm just looking for this street. I think it's like there. So right now on my way to my accommodation uh, somehow I happened to go to like complete just like little jungle here in India filming some animals passing by and I think I think this kind of like a little park where some of the Indian boys take their girls out uh, a lot of couples are strolling around here and somehow somewhere my cool hostel is supposed to be Got here like two hours ago. So, just got out of the hostel that I checked in. India, man. First day, first few hours. Okay, overall, it's a super interesting area. It's super lively, and I think back there is some type of a college or an institute. Hello. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, the hostel, it's uh, very affordable, very cool, very stylish. It's like around seven, eight euro, like eight dollars. You can go in India much, much cheaper, much lower than that. What's up, boys? Uh, but I decided, hey, let's look for nice and like super clean. And uh, yeah, they're supposed to like go out tonight. We'll see if I will join them for it. Now, he gave me a few recommendations. Oh, I got some in my eye. For food, it looks like I actually ended up in some type of a, let's say, creative corner because a lot of young people, a lot of people actually with cameras walking around too, like local people, Indians. So, uh, yeah, let's get some food. Guys, here I'm having some dumplings and a soup, and unexpectedly, it's really spicy. I like it. Man, the music is pumping. I'm about to fall asleep, my hand is freaking shaking. It just has been just too long of a flight. Good morning, or good day, to a super sunny beginning of the next day in India right now, in Delhi. I am here on the rooftop again, and I gotta admit, I overslept pretty badly today. I woke up at like 12, because somebody woke me up actually at this place that I'm staying and uh, yesterday night was very interesting with the people here at the place we actually went out to a few bars okay time for some action in India day number one the main day let's get some food and then old Delhi
vibe here right now, so I am on my way to the subway. And pretty much I asked yesterday about this area and it's kind of like a little bit more of a student party area, like as you have seen a lot of very nice places. So probably not, uh, let's say, the most authentic experience so far, but we are about to change that. I am headed to Old Delhi. There are supposed to be some cool places, but also very much the authentic experience as far as I've been told. So that's where we're headed right now. Right guys, crossing the streets in India is like Tetris. You have to make it match somehow, you have to fit in somewhere. Woo! <laughs> I am very happy to meet you now in this time. Okay, sir. Yeah, people are happy to see me, that's a good thing. Alright, so now we're talking. This street is a little bit busy, you know, just the usual hassle in the evenings, 5 p.m., 6 p.m., everybody is getting off. I mean, it's a little bit busier maybe than other places, but <laughs> wow, this is an absolute contrast to where I have been just like 20 minutes ago. So my plan right now is to go to one of the many temples. Uh, I don't know if it's a temple, but like the main sites, I cut them on my map, put like a little start on them. And yeah, this is a different experience right now. Over here in one of the side alleys right now, it is a little bit quieter. But now we're back to business. So who would have thought I got a little lost. I went into the wrong street, Google Maps. Saved me out of there, and now I should be on the right path. And they have logs, so maybe need a log. Well, maybe later. So I was thinking, like, I'm sure in the next few months and years, there are gonna be other crazy situations where the traffic is gonna be crazy, where other things are gonna be that are, let's say, not that easy to handle with but I'm gonna say like hey yo bro in comparison to like the new Delhi traffic this is so far India seems pretty actually chill for the most part even though you cannot say it by the act of this video what's up man uh, do you know well, like where's the main entrance to the temple like that thanks man uh, yeah I'll be checking out right now this temple it's definitely getting a little colder uh, a little uh, darker and even though I'm actually super surprised that it's not super hot, it's really cozy, chilly, warm. You guys my fast? Thank you. Yeah, my man. All right, gotta keep filming. And um, in the evenings, actually, it is getting quite cold. I did not see that coming at all. All right, this dude told me like this way around and then there, but I just don't see it. Danny, what's your name? Musaib. Musaib? All right, nice to meet you, I'm gonna check out. What? Kashmir. Kashmir, nice. I'll check out the temple. All right, man. Majid? Majid. It's, not, it's not a temple? No, sorry. All right, thank you, man. Otherwise, people are going to make fun of me online. Can I make mistakes? Tell me I'm Majid. All right. Yeah, that's the name of this place. I'm going to look it up again right now. Okay, so behind me is the Masjid. The Jama Masjid building. Uh, for some reason they're not letting me in, they're letting the locals in. I don't know, maybe they have like some type of uh, occurrence or something. A lot of people are actually walking in, but he told me it's closed for today, come back tomorrow. And uh, yeah, that's what I will be probably not doing. There's so much more to check out. So walk past this one. Let's see what else we can find. <laughs> Where do you take them? You sell them? Yeah, but how? Where do you take them? In the shop or how much? How much? Up sign kar do. How much? Yes. Uh, Thirty thousand. Let's put the cap on. I'm going on the cover here, and I've just seen the most random thing ever. These guys are selling Zion Weebills uh, stabilizers, the one that I have, like new versions, like right off the car. Like this guy is like carrying them right now. I don't know what is happening. The deal was good, but I'm not gonna buy a crane off the wagon there. Yay, we got it. 
Now we take a picture together too. Say hello. <laughs> We're doing some picture sessions here. I heard that might happen in India. I mean, I know it from some other countries. I am at the Red Fort building. And you might don't hear me that well because we have dinosaurs here. Like they have some of the like little circus roller coaster set up here. Oh, strolling around at the Red Fort. Met some Czech guys over here. Hi. Hi. What were your name? Philip. And Zdenek. Philip and Zdenek. So these guys are gonna rent a car and they're gonna do a huge Indian road trip. That sounds pretty epic. <laughs> and we've been thinking about going in at 600 uh, rupees. I feel like. Uh, it's already dark. I'm not gonna be able to film. I mean you see it already. It's like getting super dark So for the most part we're gonna call it a day right now. We'll see how I'll make my way back to the hotel uh, Have you like walked through like the little side alleys here? Yes, we did so have you been, have you been, uh, uh, First but it was the first time today for you, right? Uh -huh. uh, well, we arrived yesterday. Yeah Yeah, I was just thinking like this day like like I live near the airport and it's actually quiet like I live it's very nice actually uh -huh. mm -hmm. This is like different worlds. <laughs> Alrighty guys, good morning. Day number three in India. What can I say? Arrived here in the evening. I had no idea what to expect and this is exactly what I wanted. Like I did not inform myself too much. I did not watch too many videos to already know everything. I was really, this is gonna be a, oh shit my headphones. This is gonna be a surprise right now and it really has been like here it's actually super chill, a super really nice area. Then going into Old Delhi, it's like a complete contrast, madness, craziness, but yet it also has like its charm to it. And I filmed a, I filmed a video for the second channel also just about like, you know, vlogging in like complete crazy situations and just keeping your focus. And it was really a very interesting experience. And uh, yeah, two weeks in India, let's see what's gonna happen.